Okay then guys, here it is, game daily number four. And the game that I've picked for today is DC Universe Online. I'm gonna choose my character, I've got two here, and go with Z06ES, who is a villainous character that I've had for about eight months now. It's uh, up to level 30, CR 88. I started playing the T5 content, but I got sort of bored of it. Um, so I've not played this game for a bit. Um, the daily gameplay times are going to be a bit shorter um, from now on. I'm going to keep it around about 15 minutes just to keep time and sort of conversation fresh. And it's mainly down to file size, not loading. The upload speed in Spain is not that big. So I'm just going to take off my items here because I'm going to do one of the T5 um, solo missions. And there was a glitch a while ago that I don't know has been fixed where if you wore your regular gear, you'd end up coming out with damaged stuff. Um, oh. Okay, I could do the vault because I've not played it that long and the vault is still an option to do. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to do the vault. Let's see what goodies I can unlock from within. So if you've not played DC Universe before, it's definitely a game I'd recommend. I mean, you can literally play years and years, spend, I should say, years and years of your life just playing this and just leveling your character up. A bit like World of Warcraft. Um, I'm just going to put a weapon on and make it a bit quicker. But it's just a lot, lot better. Uh, it it's, uses a slightly more modern engine. It looks a lot newer, a lot fresher. The game mechanics are really good. The powers that you can get and all the items just makes for a fantastic game. And all the DLC is great. And then, best of all, you can play it for free. Uh, and it is one of those games where you can literally play it for free and make a good character. Um, the only thing that you lose out on is you can't go up to T5 because you need to have battles for Earth. Huh? What's the new one called? Origin Crisis. You need Origin Crisis to go to T5, but I'm I think you can go to T2 stuff, Tier 2 stuff. If you don't know what that means, then it's not going to mean a lot of me telling it to you. But if you play this game, you know what I'm about. Um, but then again, if you play it, you probably got DLC. But anyway, got a few items there. It seems to be that when you play this game all the time, the items you get are crap and you've already got them. And then when you don't play it for, well, it's probably been months now, uh, I've been practicing and playing StarCraft 2, you actually get some good items. So. Oh, well, that's nice. Got all the shielded robots there now. 25 more SP points for me, increasing my tank skills. Uh, where's the hoodie gone? There it is. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got my Martian Manhunter hoodie. Get rid of that because I've already got it. Stats looking okay. Marks of reality need to be higher. I need to work on getting my Mantis set. Let's see what the hoodie looks like. Oh, yeah, it's alright. I think I'll stay with this do. Usually I just have like a random style, but I picked this stuff up the other day. I, I don't know why I chose it. I think I was just I was on here for a couple of seconds and I was bored. And as you can see, I'm a Earth tank, so it's quite tricky doing the new T5 content as Earth tank because it's all about damage absorption and Brick keeps dying and blah 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 blah. So we'll go into the solo stuff. I'm thinking of changing to Ice because their shields work a bit better. And oh, okay. Well, the audio is broke then, again, for the DC Universe T5 solo content. So, Lex doesn't speak. Hopefully the other characters inside will. And basically, the idea of the T5 content is you relive moments in history that have already passed within the DC Universe. So, this is, I believe, the point where Bizarro escapes from Lex Corp uh, testing facility. And you get to go back as Bizarro and relive the events in a attempt to stop future Lex Luthor and Batman and something else and yeah it's interesting anyway I'm not going to start ruining it for people I think you should definitely go out and play the game yourself but if you don't want to play the game then just watch videos online if you find it interesting but it is good to play and stuff looks good in it as well uh, and there's just so many people that play this game massively massively online multiplayer I'll take out these scientists here these super awesome combos that I'm not even reaching the guy with Activated my powers yet? There we go. That was the, the zoom and hit him with your chest or something. It's a bit annoying because you can see what your powers are called is when you're with your own character, but when you're with the iconics, um, like even if you're playing uh, Legends and stuff, where you get to play as iconic characters from the DC Universe uh, comics and stuff like um, Green Lantern and whatever, you can't see what their powers are called and you can't see what the benefits of using the powers are, like damage over time, healing over time, power over time, stuff like that. Uh, so I have to make sure I take out these alarms because I don't want reinforcements to come first. And then 
go for the scientists. They've also added this thing in recently where it puts a blue fist above your head and stuff. And I don't know why they've done that. It didn't need it. And it just adds something else that's distracting into the mix, really. I'm not a fan of it. I will find if there's a way of turning it off, I think, because it's pretty annoying, if I'm honest. Get a bit low on health. Activate soda can. Should should regenerate by the time we get to the second boss. Or mini boss, I should say, because of the solo missions there's only one boss. I will eventually play this game again and I'll do one of the um, T4 a T4. T5 alerts. Uh, which were a bit longer, it'll probably take about half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on who I go with or if I decide to edit it down a bit. Uh, I am in a league at the moment, it's called Devastators, fantastic bunch of guys. Um, they're really, really good, and all they do is just grind sort of all the day, all the time um, when they're online. Um, but, you know, they have fun with it, they don't. They don't take it seriously when we're going into Nexus, which is understandable because Nexus is ridiculously hard. And so is Parallax Wave. Even with modified T5 gear, you have to make sure you're on the ball, especially as an Earth tank. If you ever lose the shield that goes uh, underneath your name at the top left, then yeah, you're doing bad because your damage absorption isn't working. Then basically, it won't stay on Bizarro for long because he's a DPS, not a tank. But I oh, know he's a tank. Okay, just noted by the symbol. Why isn't? No, I don't know. However, his tanking skills work. It doesn't really matter because I don't play as Bizarro. I play as my own character, Zenu 6 es which is a random name, but it was named after the Corvette and the fact that I now live in Spain, so there you go. So let's get inside here, Got some more scientists to take out, and turrets and stuff, that's all part of the fun, and then there's the next mini boss. I've got to take out. It shouldn't be an issue. I don't think. Take these guys out. Oh no! Oh, stupid lightning thing just to eat my health away. Oh, and a turret. Yeah, well, that helps not. That's the only thing that is annoying is when you're trying to get somewhere, something attacks you, and it just stops you dead. Take out this guy now. The idea of the T5 content is to work on your PvP mechanics, which is your when to attack and when to block mechanism. Um, basically, it's not overly complicated, but I've not played this in a while and it's not going too well. So, block, he then. You then break his attack and he falls on the floor. He takes a bit of damage and then it enables you to hit him, basically. So you just gotta keep doing that. But then eventually he'll get to a point where his health goes low and he goes into like a frenzy attack. And my blocking is not as good as it used to be. Like that I should have got I should have been on the other end of that because he was blocking and I should have been the one that gets knocked down. Oh dear. Oh, I should have blocked. Okay, health, and then let's get back into it now. He's going down now. Doesn't stand a chance. Yes, there we go. And I get another item. Uh, a DPS shoulder pad. Oh, I don't need that because I play tank. And I've got higher level stuff than that anyway, I think. So that's something that I can sell. It's, uh, I'm a premium member, which means I get 2,000 uh, cash allowance. Um, and more slots and stuff. I would go legendary, but I'm with SOE at the moment. I'm trying to change over to PSG, who are the European provider for DC Universe, but their waiting list, I've been on it for four months to get my account switched over. And the only reason I want to do it is because you can then pay for legendary via PayPal rather than using a credit card, which I don't have nor what I want to use because my credit rating's low enough as it is without spending money on DC Universe I cannot afford. I do it on PayPal, it's nice and easy. And it means that I get unlimited cash because I've got like 300k in there. Which I can use to buy loads of stuff for the lair. Or more importantly, I can buy mods from the broker so I don't have to make them myself. So I'm just range attacking these because I know that the main boss is around the corner and I don't want him to come after me just yet. I need to get a health barrel, um, which is where the last bunch of guys are now. 
So I've got to try and do the same thing to them by sort of dragging them or just killing them basically. My health's getting kind of low. Oh, crap. Okay. It's going to. Oh, yeah. They see that is not what I wanted to happen. I need that health barrel, so. That's quite annoying. I have to heal myself up. Uh, if I'm right, the one should have spawned from before. That's a turbo flight. Yes, there it is. Okay, let's pick this up. And take this over to the boss. As long as I can. I see I played this. This is not me speeding up by the way, this is the turbo speed of flight. Okay, so I'm being healed now and I've got to keep knocking him down while I'm not losing any health myself. So spam powers now. Go. Take him down. As long as I can keep my blocking mechanics up, I should be okay. Knocking him down. Lunging. Yes, there we go. Down. Come on. And again, oh yeah, this is working out well. This is working out well now. But this guy does have a massive frenzy attack when he gets to low health. You just you can't block him or like lunge at him. It's really annoying. I don't know if they fixed it. As I say, because it was a genuine fault of the game, but they might have fixed it. It's getting pretty close. You'll see because he'll start doing hand blaster moves. We're running out of power now, or mana, as they call it in World of Warcraft, and Dota 2 and stuff. We've got this easy. I've still got my uh, cola left. You see, in the hand blast there, you just, just can't. And he gets the bloody missile launches out. That's no way. See, you see, can't block break him or anything. Really annoying. He's going down anyway, though. There's no way. No way. Not one of us gonna survive this. Is it that my man says in tier 2? Come on, just die. Yes. Knocked him down. Oh, stupid stun, right? Block break, get in there. You go down now. I've got half health, you've got no health. Boom. And done! Nice! Some more shoulder pads to add to my collection. Uh, and a mark of reality, which I need to buy T5 gear. So that's good. So I can go to my mainframe and power up one of the generators that I know has run out. Number two. Hold on up. Oh, no. Well done, there we go. So I can replace that, and that'll leave me to use my tier 2 mods. But I need to get back up to tier 3 to have all of my working. I'll show you the HQ if you never played DC Universe. You can have a look at the villains HQ, which is the Hall of Doom, and the heroes get the Watchtower, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, as a base, it's not, it's not bad, it's pretty good. Everything that you need to play. The game sort of manage your characters here, like mail slots, brokers, shops, vendors, um, iconic evil villains uh, are inside the inner sanctum, which you get to go into once you complete the game and you get to level 30. Let's add all my stuff back now, so that if I decide to go and play something else later on, I know that my gear's there and I don't have to re equip it. So, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not going to buy that because I don't play the game enough at the moment. So yeah, my character, DC Universe, fantastic game. Recommend you all to try it. Um, that's my little brick there helping me out. So yeah, this is Charles for Gadget Point bringing you the fourth instalment. Like and subscribe to the video. And I'll see you all tomorrow.